the Dallas Mayor's Summer Reading Program. Yeah, and we welcome back uh, Mike, Mike Rawlings, the mayor here. And I know that you guys um, have more people signed up, 12,000 already saying they want to do this. Now, do you believe that's because you guys have made it you know, open up to adults and so maybe more people are getting involved with their kids even? Well, we've turned it into a club and we've made it a little more fun. There are a lot more prizes. And yes, we've opened it up to adults because I think it's great to... The fun thing is to read a book alongside a kid because mm. somehow you can compare notes, you can bond with them, and it's a lot of fun. So I think that was a good move. But yeah, 12000 already. We need to get more. Yeah, and it keeps their brains, the kids' brains working during the summer. And, and what a great example it would be for the parents to also read a book at the same time. You know, I'll tell you, it's the way the brain works needs to not just be totally fed mm -hmm. easy stuff you need to connect the dots and what the, the reading helps you imagine where you are helps you think about things I want Dallas to be the city that reads and if we were known for that it would be uh, uh, the education would be improved or our job performance and our family units would be together. So this is important. Yeah, a, a lot of kids look at it as a chore. It's like, oh, yeah. I gotta <laughs> read a book. I, I understand that. I understand because they want to. They want to kind of do other stuff. But I'll tell you, if you get into habits, sort of like running or or doing anything, it mm -hmm. really it stays with you for your life. Right. And my mother made me read in my summer, and I was part of a reading club, and it's helped me. Right, and you take out the excuses as well because it's free. Well, it does, and you win prizes, mm -hmm. okay? You know, you, you read, uh, you know, three hours if you're uh, under six or five hours a week if you're over, and you get uh, ranger tickets, you get uh, food, you get uh, uh, a lot of prizes. So that there's immediate gratification, too, that's uh, wrapped up into this. It was fun. But more importantly, the books are fun. Right, right. The right. books are fun. I brought a couple of mine. So, so I was kidding you about that thing with the freeway over yeah. on the east side of downtown to get to, down to some city business. You don't get to come by and just, you know, <laughs> talk about it, kids' books and stuff. What do you think about that? It, it, it's an interesting concept. There's a bridge now, that the, 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 the great deck park that bridges uptown and downtown. What about on the other side of downtown, Deep Ellum and downtown? Well, you know, I'll tell you, one of the things that uh, was done decades ago was our city was kind of divided up by these high fr freeways. Yeah. I'm a big fan of low freeways or underneath the ground. Uh, and I love for Deep Ellen to be connected. Deep Ellen's uh, a great creative uh, uh, place, and I think artists and musicians there, it, it, would, it would be fabulous to do it. It is a matter of a billion dollars, and there's a lot of transportation issues that we're facing, and uh, so we'll tee that up and discuss it. A lot of zeros. Uh, what do you think about Mike Miles upset about what's happening with his chief of staff? Uh, a lot of turmoil there. What's your reaction to that? Well, I think the school board has been uh, very steely in their determination to reform the school system. Uh, and they had a very important vote uh, this last year. Obviously, we've got to have great people, and Superintendent Miles has got to put together a great team. I think he got, a, he got cold clocked by this and was surprised by this individual. Uh, and it's uh, it's very disappointing, and we've got to kind of uh, regroup, and then we'll rebound on that. It's tough in any organization that big. You had a very similar, very similar situation happen in the city of Dallas, and it, it's got to be embarrassing. It's got to be frustrating. It's got to make you angry. Uh, you know, I mean, the public trust is so important, and and you've got to be able to. Uh, do what you say and say what you do and uh, and stand up for it. It starts when you're a young kid and it starts uh, in our school system. Right. Uh, it starts at home. That's why this is important. Uh, and uh, I, I, it's uh, it's one of those things we got to power through. All right. Way to bring it back home. Reading is fundamental. And of course, you can find up online. Uh, it's going to run uh, till August 10th. Again, it's free. So uh, no excuses there. And it'll be a fun thing for the family to do as a whole. I'm a reading nerd like my, like you as Dallas well. Public Library. Okay. That's right. You, you, you get get to, love the libraries, love the librarians. Too.